Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Microsoft and it's important to talk about Microsoft over this weekend because uh, well first of all if you have seen this video of mine crash cancelled if it's cancelled I have I'm talking about it in this video where I'm talking about QQ Spy, Apple, Microsoft and all of their meta Amazon, Netflix, Google, tech stocks that is, is the crash cancelled right because why so like the last power hour we saw on SPY, bulls rotated the structure on SPY back again into full bullishness and got it above 524. Now, the reason, and I also talked about in that video of mine that I'll talk Microsoft specifically in a separate video as well, much more in detail, because Microsoft is most heavily weighted in QQ and SPY, all right? So now, this wick at the bottom that came uh, this is what we got to talk about this is very promising because it is the structure on microsoft confirming bullishness or it's just a one off like how what do we make out of it and don't don't let this volume red candle confuse you because if i take you to the hourly interval things will soon get clear because you can see the last hour we got a huge green candle on that hour with a good great candle as well good great green volume candle and also the candles price tick as well right so yeah a lot of buying happened the very last hour on microsoft so let's talk about the things now we we have on the again it's a little bit purely in the form of technicals okay now it tells us that buyers are sitting here. Oh, well, guys, also, I forgot to tell you that none of this is any financial advice, only for education purposes. I take guarantee of nothing. You are solely responsible for your own financial decisions and outcomes. I'm just sharing here my educational opinion, nothing more than that. All right. So Microsoft was a falling knife at one point. We lost 417. That was the pretty much loss and the break of structure right over here. And we also lost 20 and 50 days moving average and we were continuing much lower, right? We went, came down as low as $404. And yeah, so, but now is the structure back again bullish after this wick here? Now, this is where it gets interesting because yes, I showed you that hourly candle, a power hour candle, very strong. That means buyers came in, but, but structure right now guys is not fully bullish on microsoft on daily interval as well if on monday we can recapture above 417 then yes expect much more upside to come but i would also suggest that 433 has a potential to remain the top on microsoft as a double top this could be a deeper neckline but we'll talk about that that's still way far ahead of us we have to see how the price action would become up there but for now what i want to say on the daily interval that the, yes the candle is very strong but the structure is hasn't gotten fully bullish all right that will be if we can recapture above 417 or 480. so is it bearish junior trader structure though is weak and bearish however I won't play short at this point and why so when the structure is bearish junior trader why are you not willing to play short because this is what creates the ambiguity right now this candle when such a type of outlier comes it's better to give it a day more to see what the price action is going to do is it just a one-off exception a false um, you know the, the candle the price action or does it hold any validity and you know any legitness to it right for that we have to give it another day and that's why if we get above 417 or 18 that will be a confirmation that structure is still holding bullish right so yeah we at this point it's 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 not the thing that i would suggest that take a play now wait wait for the play all right that's what i would say and I'm giving the levels for that now. I want to adjust something here on my indicator. Let's do the actually depth level low here on the intraday. It's just so that we have a little bit more clean chart to work with because at this point, it's more about talking about the structure, right? So here's the thing. This is the area, $418 level that I'm saying. If we can recapture above it, sure, some upside may come. At this point, guys, 
if let's say it starts to sell off, I would advise against shorting it. You can go and do whatever you want to do. Okay, that's fine. You go do your thing. But I would not short it even if it starts to fall. Why? Because as I said, this candle that has come, I want to give it a day because technically it's a demand candle. So any pullback down to the level of 410 is a potential to become an inverted head and shoulder and just a pullback after the strong green candle and this may start to go up. So yeah, I am more looking at it as is the pattern eventually becoming bullish now again on Microsoft and this is very likely the start of it as early signs of it and pull back in my opinion are worthwhile to see if this holds the level of 410 if the pullback comes otherwise if it breaks over 418 it just can continue higher and eventually this is becoming i think more of a long play but again as for the long the the price action is looking like it's turning into a long play all right can it become a short play yes it can become a short play but i want to see another day because Price action is not showing me the signs of it staying bearish right now. So I would say bullishness price action is ahead of bearish price action. And at this point, the confirmation is on neither side. It's neither bullish nor bearish at this point though. Yes, the structure overall here, yeah, that was the intraday bearish place. But now what we are at, the structure needs a day again at these levels and as the price action develops as how I talked about that may give us those plays all right so just keep that in mind and uh, yeah the, the last hour has really uh, you know really messed up the things if I should say that way uh, but yeah you can see the last two days like we were getting a good sell off volumes like Microsoft was really selling off look at it and then suddenly this one green candle on the volume as well. a lot of buying happened this hour changed quite a lot but otherwise you were you can see right like how volume up there was quite low at all time highs right you can see uh, oops sorry what's going on all right so you can see volume up there was quite you know up there was quite low in comparison to if i take you to the previous times when microsoft was going higher Right. And then lately from last two days, the volume was coming in high on the sell off side, but then the very last hour changed things around. So that's why I want to work with the levels that I just provided. And if the chart, ac chart action and the price action develops as I I'm expecting. But yeah, right now, even though on the daily interval structure is not fully bullish, but it's trying to become bullish and it's more likely that there are more parameters in the di direction of bullishness and less parameters on the bearishness, even though the structure is not fully confirmed bullish, but it is becoming like that. It's turning in that direction, in my opinion. And we'll see if the weakness persists, if that pullback fails and we see another red candle, uh, we'll talk about the price section then. Um, it all comes down to how legit is this buying. And for that, we have to give it another day. That's where I stand. All right, guys, that's it for this video. And as I said, I'll be, I did look generalized video already with QQQ and SPY and focus with other tech stocks here. Check it out on my channel. Microsoft, I want you to talk about in a separate video specifically because it's very important due to the price action and it's so heavily weighted in QQQ and SPY. And then um, I want to do another video on Meta as well separately. Let's see if I have time. Uh, there's a play that I'm take, I have I closed actually in profit, but there's something in the price action that I think is developing there as well for the next potential play. So, but anyways, that's it for this video, guys. And if you found it helpful, valuable, please hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care.